So the Cleveland Browns select Greg Newsome the second, uh, you know, in the first round. And I, I like to pick. I think that there's a lot to like about him. The one, I guess, concern maybe you could say is that uh, he's kind of more of a zone corner. Just that's what we've seen of him. I think he actually might have the tools to play man, but he's most mostly just played zone at Northwestern. And we're going to get into that in a second. But, uh, you know, when we get into the film study. But for Cleveland, well, they play a lot of zone. At least that's what they, they did last year. It might have been, you know, out of necessity because they didn't have secondary help. So maybe they'll play more man with Greg Newsom and with the other secondary guys they brought in in free agency. But I like to pick. I think that he's someone who can be very effective. And I wouldn't be shocked at all to see him actually surprise some people and end up being a bit of a steal. Uh, and so we can get into the film study and talk about really what it is exactly that I do like about Newsom. So we'll start off with a play like this. This is going to be a great play, I think, to really show what he does best. Because, you know, that's something I talk about a lot with players. Is Let's not necessarily just focus on, you know, what you do well, what you don't do well. But what are you great at? What is your best quality? And how well will that translate to the NFL? And he does have a really good quality. And that quality will be shown on this play. So he's in man coverage here. Now, I should mention, Northwestern doesn't play a lot of man coverage. They play a lot of zone, quite frankly, a lot of uh, quarters coverage, which is kind of just, it's hard to really t evaluate Newsom. I think. We can get a little bit more into that in a second, but on this play, it is man coverage, and there's a slant route that he's supposed to be covering. So I think that my favorite thing about Newsom is going to be his footwork and his ability to break in. I do feel like he's a very good zone corner who could potentially play man. The man is, is kind of a question mark for me, but the zone is not a question mark. Anyways, this is a play in man though, and it's going to be a good example. Watch how right when this play starts. So the defense, the excuse me, the wide receiver is about to cut in, and Newsom right now has read this play. So, you know, this is a tough route to defend. Quite frankly, you have to be able to have burst and speed to be able to run in and knock it away. If you don't, it's probably going to be a completion. A slower corner or a corner with less explosiveness does not knock this one away you also are going to have to have ball skills once you get to that point if you are quick enough to get there but Newsom breaks in he does have the ball skills and knocks it away it even kind of hung up there a little bit so you know if there was a little bit of luck and there was a, a defensive player in the area maybe that's an interception so you know there's a little bit of something there but really the impressive part I think is just his ability to break in that's what he does with the best of them in my opinion let's talk about something like this so it's I think it's fair to say, watching a lot of Newsom's tape, it's just kind of hard to get really a great read on him just because of, you know, it's a quarters coverage, which not that many teams in the NFL run. So how are you going to really evaluate how good of an NFL player he is? Because even the teams that like to run quarters, they're running it, you know, somewhat. They're not running it as much as Northwestern did, in my opinion. Well, I guess that's not in my opinion. That's just, uh, well, it's not really a fact either because I don't have the data. I guess it kind of, it, I don't know. Uh, it's from what I've seen, I guess, is the better way to phrase that. Anyways, uh, so on this play, Newsom is in charge of covering the zone that's to the offense's right further deep. So it's going to be, you know, the route you see on the screen, he's covering just further deep than that. So watch how he covers this. And I should warn you ahead of time, this is not going to necessarily be the best route you'll ever see, but I think it's still important. Watch how right when this play starts, notice how Newsom opens up his hips just a little bit towards the middle of the field, which as you know from the route you saw, that's not going to actually be what the route ends up being. So Newsom already gets his hips opened a little bit in that direction. But I think what I really like about Newsom is his patience. And it's part of why he's such a good zone corner is he's he, he will wait on these types of things. He's not going to break in too early, which that's how guys really get into trouble. So, you know, yes, he has that quick burst, but he kind of uses it. It's a little bit, uh, I know this might be sacrilege to say, but it's a little Richard Sherman-like of he knows when he has to break in and he knows that he can cover more ground than the average player so he doesn't have to break in as quickly as the average player does so when that receiver cuts he's easily able to just turn his hips and the ball was thrown like right as that was happening so they didn't really finish off that play too well but the point still stands that it, that's just kind of how it can help him with his patience paired with that great explosiveness at breaking in like that. And you also have something like this where what's going to end up happening on this play is it's nothing too crazy, nothing that we need to break down, spend 10 hours on, but it's still an impressive play to me and it kind of goes to show what I've been talking about a little bit. It's quarters coverage. You have a, a player who's just running a quick route to the sideline trying to gain some yards right here. And so for Newsom, his job is going to be to 
after he stays a little bit further deep, read it, come in, make a quick tackle or as quick of a tackle as he can. That's what he's supposed to do here. And watch how right when this play starts, he does break in really well and make a pretty quick tackle. So I think that's a good play. Uh, I really do. I think that's a, a very good play. I think that him just reading it, having that quick burst and making a quick tackle, given the coverage, giving up the five yards there for a corner, that's actually a pretty good play for him. So I think that that's, again, it's an impressive thing that he can do. It's yet another thing that he's bringing to the table. But honestly, something like this is probably my favorite thing about Newsom is, you know, he's going to be uh, in coverage sort of towards, okay, top left of the screen. You see it. It's I made that one in white. That's where he's at. And again, it's a receiver who at least appears as though he's doing a very similar thing to what Newsom was doing last time, which was, you know, just has to run in and make a quick tackle. That's what it appears Newsom is going to have to do this time as well, but that's just what it appears to be. That's not what it actually is. Because watch how right when this play starts, so you see uh, the, you know, the wide receiver, he sort of starts to run in. Newsom this time does break in a little bit. So I talked about how Newsom typically does a good job of being patient. This time is one of the few times you see him not doing that great of a job. It's hard to blame him too much. I mean, you know, he has to make a play at some point. So running in isn't the worst thing in the world. But he ran in a little bit too quickly because that is actually not what 25 right there is going to be doing. So on this play, the question is going to be how well does, really how good of footwork does Greg Newsom have? And the answer is going to be really good. Watch him get turned around, but he comes back and he's going to knock that one away. That's an incredible defensive play from Newsom. And it kind of just goes to show, okay, yeah, this guy puts himself in the right position a lot. But even when he's out of position, he can make things work. So honestly, there's just a ton to like about Greg Newsom. And I think that a lot of people are, you know, my biggest concern about Newsom is just he kind of feels like a zone corner, which, you know, how much do you really, when do you want to draft a zone corner, essentially? He did run a 4-3-8 40-yard dash, which is, it's not, it's, so that seems really quick, but again, I have to preface all of them with pro day times are always quicker, so I don't really know exactly how quick it is, but it's probably mid 4 fours, which is, that's fine. That's, that's, you're, you can work with that for sure, and especially if you want to have him, you know, play a lot of zone, then you're looking like you're in pretty good shape. So yeah, I think there's a lot to like about Newsom. That's what I think of him as a player. Let me know, what do you guys think about Greg Newsom? Let me know in the comments below. I'm interested in hearing what you have to say. Uh, and let me know what you think of this pick as well. Uh, always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>